welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you are struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. Let us look at question 17. 17a, the diagram shows triangles P and D Q. Describe fully the single transformation which maps triangle P onto Q. So, we are looking for the single transformation which maps triangle P onto Q. Q is the image. So we have the object and the, the image. So now a few things that we need to interrogate. The first question that we need to ask ourselves is, is triangle Q different in size compared to P? The answer is no. So this cannot be enlargement. So enlargement is out. Then is the shape the same? In other words, are all lengths and angles preserved? So if you notice, the angles remain the same. So the angles have been preserved. The angles have not changed. So this angle is the same as this angle. It's 90. This angle and this angle. This angle remain the same. So if that's the case, we, are, we cannot talk about uh, shear or stretching because the angles remain the same. So we are talking about either rotation or reflection or translation. So these three, all the lengths and angles are preserved. And the area is also preserved. So the area has not changed. So because the area has not changed, you can only look at those three possibilities. Because if it's enlargement, the area is going to change. If it is dilatation, again, the area is going to reduce. Enlargement, the area is going to increase. In terms of um, if it was shear, the shear, in terms of the angles, angles will not be preserved. But the area will be preserved. But because the angles are preserved, it cannot be shear. Then it cannot be a stretching. So it has to be amongst those three. So now, if we look at it critically again, the next question that we need to ask ourselves is the direction okay the direction of the shape the same it's the same because if you look at the shape it's facing the same direction all these triangles are facing the same direction has not changed so it cannot be rotation because if it's rotation all the points will be turned about a fixed point using the same angle or through the same angle so, rotation is out. So, we mean if deflection and translation. So, it cannot be deflection because these points are not mirroring themselves. Because if you see deflection, you're going to have a, a mirror here. So, they are going to be like here, this. So, they are going to face this face in the opposite direction so that this is the same so it can't be so it has to be in translation so you've seen the question that i've answered i've answered the number of questions so that you understand why are we arriving at in translation instead of hmm, rotation or deflection so now if it's translation this is a single transformation is now we know that it is in trans Lation. So how do we describe translation? So translation is fully 
or completely described by a column vector. So we need to state a column vector T which we can use to find the image. Or in other words, translation is fully described by stating the column vector T. So we need to find the column vector T. So what we need to do is we just need to pick N of the three sides. So this side should be corresponding. So let us say for example, I'm going to pick this side and this side. So this side is in negative, this one is in negative 4 comma 2. Then this one is in negative, actually it's positive 2 comma negative 2. So now I need to find a column vector which is a 2 by 1 matrix in such a way that I need to have the image which I'll call x1 y1 this is the image coordinates so it will be now this one then this should be equal to the object which is the original x y then plus this translation vector I'll say t2 there so if I add the original to the column vector I need to get in the image which is in the point at Q. So I know the point at Q that I've picked, you can pick and the, 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 the answer will still be the same. I'm picked 2 comma negative 2. What is the corresponding original? You see negative 4 comma 2. Then plus I'll call this to be just for easy A and B. So now this point is just to solve. So what I'm going to do is move this to the right hand side so that I remain with you what I'm looking for. So I'm going to have, I can use this space, I'm going to have negative 2, then minus negative 4, then 2 is equal to A, B. Where A is T1, then B is T2. So now it will be now 2 minus negative 4. So I'm going to have this transition vector, 2 minus negative 4, so I'm, I'm finding here now the answer is C, 6. Then negative 2, so I have 2 minus C, negative 4 is C, 6. Then negative 2 minus 2 is C, negative 4. So this is the transition vector. So what this is telling me that we need to move 6 steps in the light along the x-axis so it will be 1 from here this is 2 then 4 then 6 then move 4 steps downward which is 2 4 so that's how we are arriving at this one so I'm moving 6 4 even here we need to move 6 4 then similarly it will be 6 then 4 like that so this is what you do. So I, I needed to take a bit of time so that I understand. So now let us write the answer. So this is a translation with column vector 6, negative 4. Once you do that, you get those good max which is in the two max then we can look at him beam in the answer space below is an incomplete flow chart for calculating the volume of fin of a cone given that the radius r and the height h of the cone complete the flow chart so we need to complete the flow chart so given this is in the formula so if you go to the flow chart, let me just write the formula somewhere here. So the formula is volume is equal to, we are given one third multiplied by pi r square multiplied by height. So when you start, what's the first thing? The first thing that we need to do is we need to enter the key values, which is this one and that one. So it will be enter r and h 
Then once we enter, then since this is the output, we need to calculate. So we need to find now, we need to calculate this V is equal to to be one third multiply our use this star, use star in computer, then multiply by the pi, then again multiply by in R, then again multiply by R because it's R square, so there are two R, then multiply by H. Then once you do that, the next thing is you get the output, then stop. Like that, just like that, then you are good to go and you get these two good marks.